After landing on the desert world, Kenobi remained on the ship, while Jin, Binks, the droid R2-D2, and Amidala, who was disguised as a handmaiden, went to search for a new hyperdrive unit. While searching, Jin discovered Anakin Skywalker a young human slave from whom he retrieved a blood sample for analysis, believing the child to be strong in the Force. Jin sent the data to Kenobi on the ship, with instructions for Kenobi to analyze it. Kenobi's analysis revealed that the boy's midi-chlorian count was higher than that of any Jedi. When Jin arrived, accompanied by Skywalker, Darth Maul, a Sith apprentice, attacked Jin prompting Kenobi to order the ship to take off, with Jin leaping into the ship as it ascended. The group then proceeded to Coruscant. Upon their arrival on the planet, Jin and Kenobi went directly to the Jedi Council to report on the mysterious attacker, whom Jin believed to be a Sith Lord. After being briefed on what to do about their mysterious attacker, Jin discussed about Skywalker with the Council, believing him to be the Chosen One. Nevertheless, the Council was determined that the boy not be trained. However, Jin persevered, telling them that he would take the boy as his Padawan despite the Jedi Code's restrictions, but Kenobi insisted he was ready to take the trials, and his master agreed. Instead of discussing the matter further, Mace Windu sent the pair back to Naboo to protect the Queen and also as an attempt to lure out the mysterious assailant. After returning to Naboo, Binks located the Gungans and Amidala, revealing herself to be the true Queen, begged Boss Nass to provide assistance in fighting the droid armies of the Trade Federation. Boss Nass agreed to fight the droids as a diversion, while the Queen's forces slipped into Thede and captured Gun Ray. However, they soon encountered Maul once again and engaged in a duel with him, biding time for Amidala and her forces to reach the throne room. During the duel with Maul, Kenobi was separated from his master and forced to watch as Maul impaled Jin with his double-bladed lightsaber so, when the opportunity arose, Kenobi, filled with rage, retaliated against the Sith. However, the Dathomirians Abrak gained the upper hand and knocked Kenobi into a nearby shaft, where he was barely able to grab onto a knob jutting out from the side before falling to his death. Maul used this opportunity to kick his lightsaber into the shaft. Despite his predicament, Kenobi was able to use his master's lightsaber to cut the Sith in half, whose body fell down the shaft, presumably dead. Kenobi then ran to his master's side and promised a dying Jin that he would train Skywalker.